fashion lovers, um, usually before each video, what you don't see is that I kind of just sit here in front of the camera until I feel like I have enough energy to be worth watching, I guess, or to just continue talking about the stuff, you know, like this, all the stuff, you know. But I've also worn this, um, like, Tory Burch cardigan in a video before, but it was an earlier one that, like, honestly shouldn't even really count, so I think that's okay. And I also have one of my Tory Burch, um, shearling slides. This is kind of, like, part of the, what I sourced, because this was sourced to sell, but then I, I quickly removed them from sale and kept them. And I wear them year-round. Anyway, see, I'm trying to kill time. I'm just, I just, anything but what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so today I decided that I would keep everything that I've sourced uh, this week up here instead of putting it away in inventory. And I could show you guys because it's a pretty decent little, little week's, week's haul of stuff. Um, I did not do very much online sourcing at all though. I think only two things are online. Oh. These are not supposed to be part of this. Um, I don't know why they're still up here. These are my two Pat Bow dresses. We got this this one right here, and then we got this one right here. Um, these don't count. I, I bought these a while ago, so they don't count. Um, one of my Pat Bows just sold yes, or a few days ago, though, so that was cool. Um, it was basically just like this one, but it was pink. And it had a crochet skirt instead of, so got that one. Um, but anyways, these don't really count. I just have them up there because they have like little cosmetic things that I need to fix still, which I'm going to leave till the last possible second that I can, which is just generally how I run my life. And you know, I'm a 36, this is still alive. Am I 36 or 37? I think, sorry, six, 36. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so, um, these, yes, these things I got from Buffalo Exchange, uh, the first time that I went, and I was like, ooh, this is a pretty good haul, and this is not the order that I found them in, which is usually how I like to do it, um, but I'll just tell you, okay, because I, I want you to, like, be there with me, like, know how how it was going in my mind so this one I think I actually found last so I like already had all this stuff in my bag and I was like this is pretty good and then I went I was walking back past a dress rack because I always look at the dresses first the long dresses first and I was walking past it again and I saw this like sticking out and I knew like even from just this like pattern I knew what it was immediately because I've I've had my eye on this dress kind of like low key for myself um, for like a year now probably. So this comes in two colors and this is the blue one, obviously. But then it also comes in like a red yellowish one, which I think I might like more. Like I love blue stuff better, but red stuff looks better on me. Real, real first world dilemma there. But anyways, this is from Free People. And this is called the Heartland Dress, which is a super cute name. And then it has a big old open back cut out here, like a diamond shape. Ugh, and there's, a, so it's got like a drop waist too, which normally is like bleh but they have some really cute stock photos of this with like just belted right here and it looks so freaking cute. This is a medium though and I would probably need a large I think just because if nothing else up here. I mean there's other stuff but if nothing else than this. Um, so I haven't even tried it on. I haven't tried it on but also like I haven't gotten, okay, I'm just gonna it. So I haven't really gotten into the whole like boob tape industry club league. I've got pretty, pretty big ones here and I can't, I have to have 
I have to be able to wear a back. There has to be a strap going. There has to be rigging, you know, scaffolding. Um, but I do know that hoop tape exists. And, um, I'm sorry, my, my husband's like, my husband's like, Um, but I bet if I had the, that I could make this work and then not have to wear anything in the back. Anyways, see, this is hard work because I can't just be like, this is a free people dress. Uh, there it is. Like, I have to tell you all of my thoughts and feelings, everything that's going on in my mind when I find something. But anyways, um, somebody... Oh, I can't remember, Glamazon, Amazon, Glamazon finds, Glamazon Prime finds, who is such, I mean, you know who you are if from that, um, I think they just sold this, but the other color for 200 just the other day, and I had mine priced lower because I was, I had priced everything down for a little bit, um, but then I priced mine back up to 200 because I was like, you're not going to beat me. I'm like, I'm selling mine for 200 too now. But I just really, really, really love this dress. And hopefully I will have one for myself one day. I don't know. Maybe I should try this one on and just see. Um, so next is this one. It's usually a very good day when you find this. And let me tell you that this would have sold. And it's also a size... Um, 42 which is like a large like it's a good size and let me tell you this one I've already sold if it came with the original belt um but I decided so it's like a midi length shirt dress like pretty simple kind of like Taylor Swift vibes in my opinion uh but I decided to still get it because to me this is like one of those dresses where I would just replace the belt anyway because it was just like a matching um what do you call this when it's like it looks like denim but uh oh my god I can never chambray chambray it's just like an exact matching chambray belt so I was like that actually looks kind of lame like I would just change the belt anyway so I still got it but I'm gonna wait because I, I do think someone will still buy it for high I mean there's there's solds of like 150 on this so just wait and you know it cost me like 30 I'm gonna say um the same with this one it was like 30 34 32 uh and then I saw this one so um my favorite store which I'm going to stop name dropping I'm gonna gatekeep it I mean I just have to I, I need to um but I've mentioned it a billion times before so you probably already know but they started actually putting their designer or what they think is des designer at the front, which is excellent for us and for me. And this was up there. So I saw this and I was like, yes, 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 yes. So this is actually a whole freaking maxi dress. Um, and I actually, love this so much like I really really dig it it's very patchwork quilty it's all smocked up in the middle and then if you didn't already notice it's a size 12 which is a really excellent size like I feel like when place things are for sale online it's usually like the XLs that sell out first so I like getting those sizes I think we all do but like I, this might be like slightly too big for me, but I really, really like it, but I have not tried it on. I have not tried it on and I've had this for, I mean, not that long, but <laughs> like, you, I don't know. Cause I really want to sell it. I want to, I want to get the clout from selling it. You know, I want people to see this in my closet and be like, oh, she got that dress. <laughs> and People on the internet aren't going to be able to do that if I just am wearing, I'm just wearing it like, you know, to wear H-E-B, the place that I go like 
seven times a week. Um, so maybe I will try it on. It's not, no, it's not this one that has a smell. It's the next one. The next dress that I found was uh, from the designer section too. And it was also like even more amazing probably, but it has a B.O. smell. But that should come, like, that's pretty easy to get out. Way easier to get out than a cigarette smell, by the way, but. Okay, here it is. Do you know? You might know. If you're a certain kind of seller, you might already know who this is. So I think these were donated by the same person because, well, Lula Johnson, of course. And look at this print. So cool, so fall, by the way. I think these will both sell really well in the fall. Um, there are a few of this dress for sale, but none of them are anywhere near another size 12. I feel like it's so odd to see a bigger size here next to this tag. Like, I feel like it would look much more normal if it had like a four or a two right there. I feel like I'm finding a lot of Lula Johnson size fours, but that is neither here nor there. Um, just really cute, solid dress, um, smells like B.O. <laughs> I just sniffed it so hard and I already knew that it smelled like B.O. Um, I didn't think to smell that hard to get someone else's junk all up in my nose. Um, that was for my 20s. Okay. I wish it was for my 30s also and my 40s, but anyways. Um, so I really, really like it. I'm not going to try it on. I'm not going to try it on. I'm not going to try it on. But, um, I don't know, because it already smells like B.O. I could just wear it, and then, you know, I'm not, it can't really get more smelly than this, so I could just wear it and then wash it afterwards if it sells. Like, it's not even a big deal. It's like, whatever, you know? But isn't that crazy? I forget what it's called. Uh... I don't remember what the style name is, but, um, oh, so I picked up this C dress for $50, and I picked this up for $80, which is definitely steep, but, I mean, like, if you find a dress like this, like a Lula Johnson dress that's not, like, super outdated looking, that's pr pretty current, and it's about to be in season, like, if I found this on the real real and it was, like, $80 with shipping included, like, if, if this was, like, $70, $65, then I would probably buy it. Like, I'd probably, like, definitely buy it. So, especially if it was this size and in, I mean, it's in excellent condition. It just sinks. So, um, this one I found next. And I didn't even look up comps because I found it at the very end of when I was like going to the register and I had my niece with me and she wanted to go and like all that. So I didn't look it up and I probably should have, but, um, it was, I think this was only like $28 or something. So it's, it'll be fine, <laughs> but it is a sink set. It's a little size zero. Um, but the print is like really cute. It has the brand name with, um, I never learned French, but it has like little French sayings like in there. Yeah. So anyways, I had seen this dress, um, several times, like on the real reel and it had some cute stock photos. So I got it. It's just not getting as much like attention. I think if I was really being conservative then I wouldn't have bought it that day, but like I was just on such a roll. I was like, oh yeah, I want to have a Uma Johnson. I want to have C New York. I want to have Sink on Set. I want to have, you know, so you know how it feels, right? But I mean, I guess I'll still make like 50 bucks off of it at, at the very least, you know, and I'll just wait because I feel like also this is kind of seasonless. It's like definitely good for spring, definitely good for summer definitely like fall with some boots and then it's like nice holiday colors like for light ring so i feel like it's like kind of like seasonless in a way okay and then i found this one this was actually the first thing that i found that day i think um this is by a brand called esby which is like a sustainable brand it's actually made in austin which is why um, there's, I always find a lot of 
crispy stuff. But this is one of their, I mean, I'm not like an expert expert, but this is one of their better selling jumpsuits. And I believe that is because it not only is it just a really classic cut with wide legs and these like kind of kimono shaped sleeves, but it's reversible and it's marketed as such. So you can either wear this on the front or this on the front. So it's really, really cute. And I think they have this priced at like 200 right now. I'm probably gonna sell it for like 150. And then I should um, definitely make like 75, $80 profit on it. And this is definitely pretty seasonless to me. So um, this is also, oh, this is a medium. Okay, it just looks kind of kind of big for medium, but I guess that's because you cinch in the waist with the drawstring. Yeah, it looks really cute though. This is a really solid piece and this brand does pretty well. Like um, it doesn't do as well as like Rudy Jude or Alana Cohn or like similar brands like that, but uh, I can definitely get 150 plus for this. Okay, so that was all I found at Buffalo Exchange for that uh, trip. And then a few days later, fast forward, I was just doing like a random, my husband and I were like out running errands. We went to like a few boring like adult places and I was like, well, I want to go to a store for me. So we went to a store, a, a buy, sell, trade store here in town, which is here in San Antonio, which is not Austin. And it kind of sucks for shopping. So it took me like, I was in there for like a freaking hour um, to find some stuff. And I found, I found three things and one of them already sold. So um, this is the first thing that I found. Um, just a classic, like, a um, newer tag Reformation dress. So I should be able to sell this for around 100 or, like, just shy of 100 maybe. Um, also, though, it's going out of season, so I know that. But they have really good prices at the store. Um, this was only, like, $17, which is basically Goodwill prices for in Austin. So got that one it listed that one is a size eight I want to say even though it looks like a freaking zero like yeah it's yeah it's a size eight but it looks like a zero like eight size eight was kind of like the size like that my adult body was and it, it like fluctuated a lot but I like know what a size eight looks like you know and to me this just looks like a dish towel size like it just looks so small it doesn't look like it could get around my body like at all, but I digress. So there's that one. This is like the thing that I found that was like, okay, no, let me actually like stay here for, let me, let me give it 20 more minutes, right? So you were tag reformation, yeah. And then I'll just um, put up a picture like over here, like right here on the front of the shirt. I found a Frankie's bikinis. Uh, so no, normally I, I have a Frankie's bikinis, like, um, cashmere halter swim cover up that I got like a long time ago to resell. And I honestly think that I might have mixed up Frankie's bikinis with Frankie shop, which Frankie shop is like m m much better for resell value. Um, but so anyways, I got that Frankie shop. I mean, I got the Frankie's Bikinis little yellow cover-up thing, and I still have it. It still has not sold. So when I saw this uh, romper, I think it's like the rose romper or something, they make it in a few different colors, and this blue one, which I found new with tags, is one of the better-selling ones, and there were sold comps of up to $200, which it retails for like $250 something I think so I priced mine at 200 and I got an offer like pretty quickly like maybe within like three or four days for 150 so I took it because guess what how much guess what guess how much this cost $17 again oh and it was tax-free weekend and I got 20% off so it was even less which is crazy um, and then this is the third thing that I found and look at this I bet a lot of y'all know what this is. So this is the Discontinued Mermaid print, which I saw it like just a corner of the fabric and I knew like what it was right away. And um, so if you don't know, this is the brand called Hill House. 
you might see it say um, like this, Hill House, or you might see it say Hill House Home. It's the same brand. And so this it was one of their more popular prints. It's like a mermaid print. So this is a 100% linen set. And as you can see, it has shells and little mermaids up here, cherries. It even has little, um, little HHHs for Hill House Home. So it's really, really cute. And I, I really appreciate when stores have a whole separate section for sets, like for matching sets. I really, really appreciate that because I love selling matching sets. And this store has one of those and that's where this was. So I was so, so happy. Um, the only thing that's like, um, which is just kind of like a picking nits thing, is that the skirt is a medium and the top is a small. And generally that just means that you will have to wait a little longer for that perfect buyer to come along. Um, because I've sold plenty of matching sets where the sets are just one size off from each other. I've sold Veronica Beard set like that for, you know, 350 plus. I just sold that IMG Lucid set, the purple set from Euphoria. That was a um, large pan, an extra large top, and that sold for full price of $300. So you, I mean, you know, we're always having to wait for the perfect buyer. We're always having to wait, wait for the perfect buyer. I just pressed my earbuds, so I thought this was gonna stop, but it didn't, so I don't know why. But, um, so when two things are different sizes, you're gonna have to wait for somebody who just has big hips in this case, which, come on, like that, definitely exists plenty of times. You just have to wait for one of those people to come on a secondhand selling site searching for that. So, and then, where did I get this? Oh, and then I went, um, where did I get these? Where did I get this? Oh, these are just, okay. And then I went back to Austin on a different day. First, I saw a, this dress and I saw the tag said Fleur du Mall. And I haven't sold this before or even come across it before, but it just sounded just vaguely familiar. And it was still new with tags. And so, yeah, I looked this up. This is like an almost $600 um, silk dress. It's called the Cascade Dress. They make it in a bunch of different colors. It's just like plain on the back and then it's got this on the front. So this is like obviously super out of season right now, but it was only, once again, that magic number, it was only $17. I think just an instance of them not looking it up first, you know? Um, and then plus like it doesn't, I saw another comp on Poshmark that also had the tags and it had the price, like it had one more tag that had the price. This one does not show the price, the original retail price on here of five, but either 545 or 565. So maybe they just didn't look it up and they didn't see it on here and they were just like, oh, that's just a whatever, it's just $17. Um, so anyways, I'm very happy for that. So this, I think I have listed for like 200 and there are some sold comps that are upwards of 150 for sure. And it already has pretty good interest actually. Like I was kind of surprised by how much interest it got, um, especially because it's yellow. Like, I don't know if it's just me or if, especially this like kind of paler yellow like it's not like a neon yellow at all it's more like a buttery yellow um which is just like to me i guess like kind of one of my least favorite colors like i was gonna put it over my head and then i forgot how straps worked um yeah i don't know why i was gonna like put it on my, my mom always told me that she didn't think the blonde people should wear yellow um and she was blonde as well she wasn't just like ragging on me like you stupid uh, yellow-headed idiot. Like, don't wear the same color as your hair. It wasn't that kind of situation, but it's just always kind of stuck with me, so I was like, ugh, yellow. But anyways, I'll shut up now. This is doing pretty well, and Fleur, Fleur du Mall, pretty good brand, too. So if you find it, it's still entertaining. Um, and then the other thing that I got at that store was this dress, which is silk. It is asymmetrical. It's got, what is, what beeping is happening? Um, so one side has got this like ruched 
um, there's like sleeveless going on here with like this little tie and then the other is just like a regular long sleeve and the brand is actually Ghani. The newer tag Ghani, which is good. This is a maxi dress. There's a lot of different uh, retailers that picks this, um, online retailers that picks this up to sell. A lot of different stock photos. And I feel like there's just gonna be like um, some people who kind of have like that pseudo like punk goth, maybe like they were goth in high school and now they just kind of wear stuff like this when other people might go to a wedding and wear like something pink or, you know, then they might show up in something that not only has this like black and yellow kind of like rock and roll aesthetic going on, but it's also just as like not what you expect with uh, this one side and this the other side. It's really nice, nicely put together too. Like the inside of this arm is like just a cami. So that way like you won't have like side boob showing has like right there. So I thought this was a really cute and I did pay up for this, um, almost $80, which I am still kind of questioning because, um, I'm definitely not, uh, like Ghani isn't in my top like 20, 30 <laughs> brands that I just know stuff about. So this isn't like a Veronica Beard blazer that I'm like, oh yeah, I paid up 150 for this, but I know that it'll sell for 350, 400. Like it's not that. Um, but being that it's about to be very much in season and um, a lot of retail sites did pick it up and they have a lot of stock photos that there is some buzz around it. So that's just always very, um, like when you look something up and it's only in one place, then it like has to have other things going for it. But I think when a lot of sites pick it up and if you're, if you're new here and you don't know what I mean by that, I mean when you look something up and not only is it on a Ghani, old Ghani website, but it's also on net porte and Garmentory and Shopbop, those kind of sites, because they are buying team the um, data and analysis nerds did all of their data and analysis um, dweeb stuff on this dress and was like, well, we should buy that dress um, from them to sell on our site. So that's just a lot of people, a lot of times those people do the little bit of work for you. And that's just a really good sign to look out for when you're selling mid-tier luxury like this. If it's in a lot of different places, then it might be a good buy. So that was going strong and I just like it. Like I, I like it as well and um i don't know like it's kind of hard to find out when things were made sometimes but i feel like it is fairly recent there's there's like no other ones of it and so i'm happy with this and i'll definitely make a chunk of money off of it and then i went to a store where i haven't found that much stuff lately um, if you are an Austinite or you've been to Austin and you know what store I'm talking about, it is the one right next to the other store um, on Guadalupe there where it's just like 99% vintage slash Y2K just like stuff and very loud music and you have to be in the mood. Um, luckily my little three-year-old niece, she loves this store. Like I don't know it's weird because we go to um, the one store and she's pretty well behaved. She just kind of stands by me and I give, she, we make sure she has a little thing to play with. Um, but this store, she just likes running and not like running around in an annoying way, but like I'll still be able to see her. And she's like running way over there to tell people her name. And I, she's having conversations with them and she's running back and she's like, I'll be right back. And then she goes right here and, it's so cute. But anyway, so luckily I was able to go in there because I found a few good things. Do I have smoothie on my mouth? I always have stuff on my mouth when I do videos. Um, okay, so anyways, so I'm really glad, got a text message. I'm really glad that I got to go in that store because I found a few good things. Like it was like back to the good old days. I actually walked out of there with like four things that were all going to sell for over a hundred and I got them all at like $15 each. So it's it's the dog's dinner time. I'm running late and instead of just laying in her bed like she usually does, she's kind of just walking around I'm trying to do my video and she's walking all around and she's mostly blind. So she's just like, is this the restaurant where we're eating tonight? 
I need to go to the bank and make a deposit. You know, she is not quite sure where she is, but she just knows that she's hungry, so. All right, let's wrap this up. Okay, so the things that I found at this other place, um, first, one of the things I already sold, and it was this anthropology hutch dress, which I don't really sell that brand. Like, there's, as we know, there's plenty. It's kind of like free people. Like, some people are like, uh, brands that I don't buy anymore and it'll have like free people and anthropology in there because people especially anthropology people think like oh that was a huge thing like you know five especially like 10 years ago well there's still so 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 many good anthropology things that are out there I mean like farm Rio like stuff you know stuff like that there's plenty um old anthro is uh, I agree it's like yeah um, but Hutch, I've tried to sell stuff like back in the old days before I like really had a better grasp on stuff. I tried to sell some Hutch stuff and didn't really go that great. But this one just looked like it looked more like a, a state. Like for whatever reason, I was like, I should look this up. Excuse me. A smoothie. A smoothie day. A lot of fiber. Um, so I looked it up. And so this... Hutch Anthropology um, bow statement dress, bow tie dress, is like just a really cute strapless dress with a big old diagonal bow right here and then just like a maxi length A-line skirt and they come in so many different colors. There's like a red and pink one, a, I don't even know, there's like a lot of different colors. Um, it's no longer for sale and I adored this colorway with like the black and like a, or like a, a really warm brown. It was like a sienna brown, like you know when you were little and you had crayons and one of them was called sienna and it was like a brown, that's like this color. Um, not sienna Miller, she is white, but this was a really cute brown and I just love, like, I love wearing gold and silver together, I love wearing black and brown together and you know why? It's because just like, um... Stacy London used to always say on that show that used to be on TLC before we had streaming and I would watch what not to wear all the time when I was little and she said she knows what she's talking about she said that you can wear black and brown together and you know why it's because they're both neutrals they're both neutral and my mind was blown when I heard that for the very first time black and brown are both neutrals and you can wear them together which really helped my my young mind form to be like you don't have to conform to what society tells you like i remember one time i was in like middle school choir class and um i think maybe like my mom had given i'm trying to remember but i think maybe my mom had given me like a new james avery ring or something and it had gold and silver on it, it was like a two-tone ring right and i was showing it to my friend and my friend goes, well, you should probably just tell your mom that you're not supposed to wear gold and silver together. And I was like, well, I, I actually have no memory of what I said back to her at that time. But right now, in my memory, I'm like, first of all, my mom dies in a couple of decades. And you're going to feel really bad in my memory. You're going to feel bad. And <laughs> And second, you should tell your mom that she raised an idiot because you don't know what you're talking about. Um, um, so anyways, there, there is that story. There is that tangent. Um, okay, yeah, so the, the black and brown hutch dress. I bought it. It was like $15. But you, you really pay for it there in, in time because it takes so long to look through all the vintage. I'm serious, that's where all the vintage in Austin is, is the store, it starts with a P, it starts with a P. Um, anyways, so I bought it for like 15, I decided to go ahead and take an offer for 115 on it because it was literally like two days after I listed it. And I was like, ooh, I could probably wait for more because I had it uh, listed for 200 just because a couple of sold comps did get that high. But I took an offer for 115 mainly because 
my threshold for net profit is $75 is what um, when I'm like thinking should I buy this or should I not buy it I'm like well can I make $75 off of it and if I took 115 then I would have made like I think like I'm not going to do the math right now but I think I made like around exactly 75 um the next thing I found was another matching set and these were actually like um uh stuck together with a piece of um with a, with a plastic a plastic store tag thing like a price tag thing but they had um, stuck them together so it took me a minute to like realize what it was i was like what the fuck is going on here but then i saw that it was a free, free people matching set with like this really cute halter with a smocked back and then this maxi skirt it's like a really wide skirt like definitely a twirl twirling skirt with these two big old bucket pockets here so really cute just like a really classic red like i really like that these are both size extra small and um i so free people can be really frustrating because you're supposed to be able to look up styles by the OB number, right? But sometimes that only works like maybe 75% of the time it works. Maybe even the lower percentage than that. It did not work on this. So I didn't really want to hang out in the store anymore because they were about to close. But I was like, this set is literally like $15 for, for both pieces. Like, I'll just get it. And I really hope there's a stock photo. And there was. And it's, it's fine. It's really cute. So this is doing really well. It has a lot of likes, like actually, especially on Depop. Like every time I look at Depop, which is like pretty rarely, I'll go look at look at it and just like um, see what likes I've had. And then like half of them are this set. So this should sell. And even though it's like obviously not a winter thing, like I, I don't know. I feel like this will still have a really good chance of selling when it comes to the right buyer, like no matter what season it is, you know. And then the last thing that I found at that store was, and it's been quite a while since I found one of these. I feel like I used to find these all the time back in the day. Um, this is a beholden dress. If you, yeah, here we go. If you don't know, there's the tag beholden, B-H-L-D-N. Um, this is, this is also an anthropology brand, by the way. And, um, just super classic. I was able to find the stock photos. Uh, not much else to say about these, but um, especially new with tags, that these are great for bridesmaids dresses. I've sold so many of these, and they usually sell pretty quickly too. And this one is amazing. It's like super current, super flattering. It's got a square neckline. It's got a slit. It's full length. It's kind of like a fit and flare. It's just really classic. So I have this listed at like um, either 200 or almost 200, and it should sell for 150 up. So yeah, so I pretty much made or will make from between 75 to 150 on like plenty of these that I got. And then these are my two online items for this week. And yes, I am trying to cut back on, I'm trying to cut back on spending online just because you almost always pay up for that because you are paying up for the convenience of being able to go into a site and type in the brand that you want like you can't just go into a thrift store and be like Veronica Beard please like you know you have to you pay at a thrift store for your time and you look through everything and if you are lucky you'll be able to find some stuff but when you buy things online unless you just are just always on those apps every hour looking to see if anyone's listening to anything new and you really have your research on point in your head so you don't have to go off app when something really cool gets posted for really cheap you don't have to go off that app and go like research does it have stock photos is it a good return is it oversaturated you already know if you've done enough research on your top brands um that you can buy it but that's that's hard to do right like that's hard to keep up with like anyways so I'm trying to cut back a little bit just to make sure that I do not have a cash flow problem going into Q4 because Q4, I really want to make sure to have a 
buttload of jackets and sweaters, hopefully new tag stuff that will really sell well for not just the cold weather season, but for gifts that people buy to give other people. And I know people love to give, you know, sweaters and coats from brands, mainly coats and jackets, right, from brands that they really like. So that's kind of a goal because last year I was like so I did not prepare ahead of time at all and this year I'm really trying to watch my cash flow so that I can more easily buy off season which is a great goal to have to get to a point where your cash flow is so good that you can pretty much like only shop for winter stuff in the summer and vice versa because you're always going to have cheaper prices that way always with that being said I bought two cult Gaia summer dresses <laughs> online because it's kind of like my my thing in the moment my, my thing of the moment last month was pat bow dresses and I bought three of them one of them I got for an amazing price of $28 at a buy sell trade store which is something that will probably never happen to me again for a while and then two of them I paid up for and those <laughs> and those are the two that haven't sold would you fathom that uh, but anyways, uh, this month my thing is like cult Gaia. So uh, this is the one that I got first. This one, ooh, I'm pretty sure I just actually saw this one on, okay, now I'm trying to remember. I either got it on Poshmark or Mercari, I think. And it was just one of those where somebody like, so when you get excited about a brand and you're trying to become an expert on that brand and you're you're going and you're, you're sorting on solds highest to lowest and you're trying to see, okay, what styles do the best? What do I need to keep an eye out for? So that when I do see something pop up, I'm like, ooh, that's one of those best sellers. And this is, I mean, more or less, this is kind of that. So this, um, does it actually say, yeah, okay. So here's new tags. Um, let me first show you the, this, if you don't know Cult Gaia, this is what the label looks like, Cult Gaia. And then so this one is called the Tyra Crochet Dress. Yes, Tyra Crochet Dress. And this one, as you can see, it does not have hanging tags, like hanging strings. Like, you know, usually, okay, so let me just show you. I had to hang it like that because it goes on like this. So like here's the top. This is all you get for the top. This, this is all you get. So like here's the top and then these would go over. <laughs> this is all you get <laughs> right here. But anyways, and then here's the skirt portion of the evening. We'll go right here. And normally there would be hanging strings here and here. To help you hang it up on the hanger well these do not have that they did not come that way and i would be a raging lunatic psychopath crazy dodo bird to just hang it up like this and just let that just have the strain there so that is why it was hung up all cattywampus like that um it even says right here like i am delicate like be careful you idiot you know um, yeah, but this this is one of the uh, better selling dresses that this sells for. Um, it retails at four, either four fifty eight or four ninety eight, and so I have it listed for four hundred. There's been plenty that have sold for four hundred or in the high three hundred. So that is what I'm hoping to do and sell it for like no less than three fifty, which I will be able to do. Um, this is actually a size large. So you know how I feel about that. Um, obviously the only bad thing about this is that it being uh, the middle of August is about to be uh, very out of season. I mean, but there's a silver lining to that because with, um, this breed is so hot right now too. Like it's been around for about four years, but it's getting really, really hot right now. So I feel like, for richer, but people who are wealth, um, financially very wealthy, very well off, who just can drop $400 on a dress, I feel like are also the kind of people who will go in summer in somewhere that is warm when it is cold where they live, like in the U.S. 
and then they will need stuff like this. So <laughs> that's kind of what I tell myself <laughs> anyways. But I mean, um, another thing though that I made sure of with buying cult guy addresses is that um, if you follow a certain account, just like in all of the reselling accounts that you follow, who are personal shoppers who go and will shop all of the like New York sample sales, um, uh, they just had a really big cult Gaia um, sample sale, which if you don't know, that's basically where a lot of these higher end brands will get rid of their um, inventory that just ended for that season. So like all the stuff that didn't sell, basically they put it, they chopped this, the sale price. Um, it, it varies widely depending on what the brand is and what they decide to do. But usually they'll really cut the price down, like sometimes in half. And then the last couple of days of the sale, they'll lower the prices even more. So when I was, this was right around the time when I was buying both of these dresses. So I just had to make sure, like I just went through and looked like um, not only online, like of course when you buy something, you want to make sure that it's not still for online, like at a really discounted price, right? Um, but then also I looked through as many of those uh, accounts on Instagram as I could who were posting stuff about Cult Gaia, like, I know, um, and I can post some down below for you too if you just want to follow people like that. But I know like a lot of them will be really thorough with it and they'll not only have a place where you can go and be like part of a WhatsApp group to actually buy things live, like when they go in live shop, but they also will post afterward, like they'll show all the stuff that people got. So anyways, I just really try to make sure that the stuff that I'm sourcing is not included anywhere near all that sale stuff so like um i honestly don't know if this was from last year or if it's just that new um i don't know like that's kind of hard to tell but this these dresses were not on that sale as far as i know and i really hope and you would assume that you that we would already be seeing some of those um on the second hand market already and i haven't so that is good um the other one is one of her top selling dresses that I have been on the lookout for. This is called the Honey Dress and it's very hard to see right here, but it has cutouts on the bodice. So if you see here, wow, this is a cinematography. This is the height of cinematography. It has, how can I do this? I wanna show you the, the GD cutouts. Oh my God. I, sweater arm okay I don't know I guess I just kind of gave up but you can see the three cutouts here and then it's got these teeny, tiny little baby straps little baby. that like I don't even trust to hold up the weight of the dress I thought these were the hanging tags I was like are the hanging straps I was like oh good this one does have hanging straps nope these are just the straps that you put on your shoulders um but anyway this is just like a pretty simple like ribbed dress and it's got a slit um somewhere but like I said it's called the honey dress it retails for almost five hundred dollars um there's the little tag called Gaia as you can see it's new without tag it was just cut off um, but this is actually an auction on eBay that I was shocked that I won. Like usually I'll put a bid in for an auction and it'll still be like two or three days till the auction is over. And I think there was still like a whole at least 24 hours until this auction was over because it, a lot of times I'll be like, okay, it looks, it looks like I'm going to win this auction because there will be no activity. And then at the last, the last like 45 seconds, like a billion people will bid and it'll go up a hundred dollars and you just don't, you can't even like do it fast enough to compete. So I, I had already kind of spent enough money. So I was like, I'm not going to touch that auction again. Like I'm sure I will get outbid because this is a really popular dress by them. Um, but, and I wasn't even paying attention to it at all. And then I got a notification that was like, you won, please pay me on. I was like, God damn it. Where's the hanger? So, um, but it was still, like, that's why I was so shocked because it was still like a pretty low price. So, um, I'll just tell you, I paid like around 120 for this dress. 
and being that it should sell for around 400 should be pretty good stuff um, but these I've, I've sold a couple pairs of cult guys shoes before and those sold well and everything but these are my first like actual substantial like clothing pieces so kind of like the pat bow like I, I let everything else in the business stay status quo but when I get kind of uh, infatuated with the brand I can that that plays a part <laughs> which it, it shouldn't right but it does so I'm just I'm testing things out I'm just throwing things out and seeing what comes back I just wish that I would have spent a little less money on an experiment <laughs> but um but yeah I mean I'm not gonna like lose money I'm not going to profit less than my threshold of $75 and that is just a fact so therefore, I'm still responsible, but still was, wasn't was irresponsible. I'll just, I'll say that, and that makes me feel better, and that's all that matters. So anyways, um, Teddy's very hungry. Gypsy's probably hungry as well. I don't know where she is, but thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time. I love ya.